I welcome all my students to my channel which is learn it today we'll be taking the chapter known as Olympic movements which is a part of physical education class 11th the unit is called 2 and the topic we'll be taking is the topic 1 before moving for let us understand what does Olympic term means or what is Olympics it is the leading international sporting event featuring summer and winter sports competitions in which thousands of athletes from all around the world participate in variety of competitions and now let us talk about ancient olympic games there are many stories regarding the origin of these games but the first game which is olympics was recorded was from 776 BC. It was a game held in the honor of God Zeus, which is a Greek god. The photograph of Zeus is just next to the slide. The word Olympics is derived from the Lord Olympia, a valley where first seen games or first games were held. Now let us move to the next topic which is the modern olympic games the logo for the modern olympic games has been on the screen it is in the form of five rings which describes the five continents or we can say that the unity now the modern olympic games started in the year 1896 with the effort of a person known as baron pierre de Coubertin of france he is also known as the father of modern Olympics. The first games or the first Olympic games were held in Athens in 1896, in which nine countries participated. Since then, Olympic games are played after every four years. Though these games were interrupted thrice due to the two world wars, the last Olympics was held in Rio, which is in Brazil. In 2020, Olympic Games will be held in Tokyo, which now has been postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic situations prevailing. Now I'll move on to the next topic, which is the Para Olympics. The logo has been on the screen. It is just same as the Olympics, but with a simple difference which is it is the olympic games for the disabled sport person it was first started and organized in 1960 in rome its headquarter is situated at bonn germany the international para olympic ipc is responsible for organizing all the summer and winter olympic games for paralympics at present, there are 176 national para-olympic committees which are taking participation in Paralympics. Let us talk about Winter Olympic Games. As the name suggests, it happens only in winters. It is the major international sporting event that also occurs once every four years. It is a sports related to snow and ice. For example, like ice hockey, ski jumping the first winter olympic was started in 1924 and held in camonix france the game is held every four years from 1924 until 1936 then there was an interruption due to the world war ii for four years the olympic games then resumed in 1948 and again held every four years the winter and summer olympic games are held simultaneously but in 1986 a decision which is taken by international olympic committee ioc that the summer and winter games will be separated four cycle year cycles in alternating even number years that it will be alternated every two two years which means if winter olympics is now 
after two years there will be summer olympics next the winter olympics has been hosted on three countries by 11 different countries now we have some of the names country which hosted these kind of games the first is the united states hosted this for four times which is in year 1932 1960 1980 and 2002 the France hosted this three times, which is in 1924, 1968, 1992. The same is Austria, Japan, Norway, Switzerland, etc. The International Olympic Committee has selected Pyeongchang, South Korea to host the 2018 Winter Olympic Games and Beijing, China to host the 2020 Winter Olympic Games. Now let us move to the Summer Olympic Games. These are the games of the Olympiad which is first held in 1896. It was an international multi-sports which means different sport event that is hosted by different cities every four years. The most recent Olympics were held in Rio de Janeiro which is situated in Brazil. The International Olympic Committee organizes these kind of games and sees the city or the country which host and sees the preparation of these events. In each Olympic events, gold medals are awarded to the first place, silver to the second and bronze to the third place holder. And these kind of tradition began in 1904. The Winter Olympic Games was created due to the success of this kind of Summer Olympics. Now, 18 countries have hosted the Summer Olympics. The United States has organized it for about 4 years. More than any nation and Britain has hosted 3 Summer Olympic Games and all that in London only. Four city which have hosted two summer olympics are first is Athens which it hosted in 1896 and 2004 and second is Paris 1900 and 1924 Los Angeles 1932 1984 and Tokyo 1964 and 2020 Tokyo is the first Asian city to host the summer olympic games multiple times the next topic is about the special olympics now this special olympics is the world largest sports organization for the children and adults who are having intellectual disabilities and physical disabilities year round training and competitions have been held and approximately 5 million athletes and unified sports patrons there are present in 172 countries Special Olympics competition are held every day all around the world in clouding local, national and regional competitions which adds up to 1 lakh events a year. This is organized by International Olympic Committee and is called International Special Olympic Committee. These games alternate between summer and winter in two year cycle recurring every for the year the first special olympic was held on july 20 1968 at chicago now I'll move on to the main topic which is the olympic symbol the symbol of olympics has been on your screen now who created it and who designed it the name of the person was pierre de Coubertin, which is also known as the father of the olympics or the father of modern olympics these Pierre de Coubertin created Olympic flags which is background is milky white texture which has five interlinked rings of different colors. These different color rings symbolizes the union of five different continents that is America, Africa, Asia, Australia and Europe. It also symbolizes the meeting of different athletes from different continents at olympics the five colors are blue black red yellow and green which are interlinked to form a olympic symbol 
now let us move to the next topic which is the olympic motto now what is the motto it has been made with three latin words which is citius altius and fortius now what is the citius means is the faster altius means the higher and fortius means the stronger which is the final meaning comes like this faster higher and stronger let us move to the next topic which is the objective for, of olympics it generates the sense of loyalty brotherhood and the team spirits among the different participants objective of olympic is to bring the attention of the world community to understand the values of program of physical educations to ensures amateurism or to promote amateurism among the sportsmen to remove all the barriers of caste creed religion and color to develop good habits among sports person and to encourage moral values and unbiased behavior through sports we can get many values through olympics the first of all is the friendship second is the solidarity third is the fair play without any description or discrimination and should be free from all kinds of drugs now let us move to the next topic which is the olympic values the first topic in olympic values is the brotherhood olympic movement which is instrumental in developing brotherhood when players of different countries play together and come together they sit together and eat together develop a sense of unity among themselves and thus brotherhood develops with the help of olympics the second is the kind of impartial games now what is it is the olympic games also provide certain opportunities for impartial games these games are based on justice so that each player and each team should be judged very fairly the rules and regulations should be applied to each and every team playing there and there should be no partiality towards a specific team or a specific player the sports official should be true to their words and action and live by the code or get out such slogan should be raised now let us talk about the third topic which is the no discrimination there should be no discrimination on the basis of anything like caste color and creed Olympics helps to promote the spirit of brotherhood and also try to abolish such kind of discrimination. The players of different countries with different cultures, traditions and caste can take part in such Olympic games and they should not be treated fairly. But discriminations are there as we know that exceptions are everywhere. In 1972 in Olympic Games of Munich some of the Israeli players were killed ruthlessly In 1936 in Berlin Olympics the person named Jesse Owens had got four gold medals but due to racial discrimination Adolf Hitler refused to honor Jesse Owens Now some countries have also invested interest in these kind of games they just want to prove that they are better than the other countries but it can be stated that olympic movement have failed to promote values we should have positively outlook so that the values may be promoted through olympic movements the next point is the fourth which is friendship Olympic movements present such opportunities as instrumental in developing friendships not only among players but also among the country here players of different countries comes to take part in olympic games when they get together they become friends even when there is tension going on between the two countries they come close to one another through olympic games the last is the respect the value motivates the player to show sportsman spirit every player should retro also respect the opponents the kinds of rules of the games and the environment 
now let us talk about olympic ideal the olympic games are remembered for bishop pennsylvania who had given a famous sermon which in which he said the most important things in olympic is not to win but to take part the important thing is life is not to triumph to struggle the essential thing is not to have conquered but to have fought well it means participating or participation is more important than winning it is about the fighting spirit that's all about the olympic ideals that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding i, I urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding if you like the video and its content give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section if you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic please write the topic in the comment section i'll sure surely try to get to you soon so for more of such videos stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to learn it